brand new mythical Pokemon was teased to be revealed on Pokemon Day. That Pokemon was then teased again to have a silhouette in the brand new Coral Coral Magazine, and that Coral Coral Magazine has just been leaked. Let's dive into it. What is up, guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred, and today we're gonna dive into that brand new mythical Pokemon goodness and check out exactly what's coming for this brand new Pokemon that is gonna be revealed on Pokemon Day. This is coming from Pokebeach.com. I'm gonna have a link to this article in the description below, as well as link to the Twitter account so you guys can follow them on Twitter because they definitely are a great source when it comes to Pokemon news. It says a mythical Pokemon full silhouette revealed in Koro. Koro, the full silhouette of the new mythical Pokemon that will star in Pokemon Coco. Pokemon Coco is the 2020 movie. It's probably going to be released in Japan in 2020 and then we're probably going to get it in the US 2021. Pokemon Coco has been revealed in Koro Koro Magazine. The Pokemon will also be available in Pokemon Sword and in Pokemon Shield. We know this they, when they announced that the Pokemon was going to be revealed on Pokemon Day. They said this Pokemon is going to be in the movie as well as be available inside of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now as of right now, if you data mine Pokemon Sword and Shield, this Pokemon does not exist. So that's pretty cool that they are keeping this hidden down the line. It's probably going to be in the game code when the DLC drops. It says the Pokemon will be fully revealed on February 27th on Pokemon Day. Now we actually know that from prior information when they announced that this silhouette was going to be in Koro Koro, when they announced that this mythical Pokemon was going to be in the Pokemon movie, when they announced that this Pokemon was also going to be in Sword and Shield. This is all previous information that we know. Now we just got the silhouette and looking at it, I'm like, okay, cool. It looks like a monkey with spring arms and I, I i i can't really tell maybe it has the a beard i can't really tell what if what are those like whisker things in front of it and then like on the top of his head um i believe shofu said it looks like the guy from tekken hey hachi and he is spot on because that is definitely hey hachi's head it also looks like it has like whiskers and stuff like that in front you can't really tell what it looks like it does have that toad webbing feet when you look at the footing but when you look at the claws you could definitely see it look like you know like a primate like an ape like a monkey it does fit into the theme of the other legendary that we know that is coming to the pokemon the sword and shield dlc i forget the name the one that has the split fighting styles and shit like that with that being said it looks pretty cool hopefully it is a great typing not just fighting because that's what it looks like it's leaning against anyway if, if it is you know just fighting it actually doesn't matter it's a mythical Pokemon we know mythical Pokemon aren't gonna be allowed in VGC and stuff like that so it, it's gonna be cool to use in the game however I don't think it's that important to actually like discuss how valuable this Pokemon may be competitively even though it may be cool for you know fun single matches it says no further information was revealed in Coro Coro beyond what we already know as posted yesterday it says the Pokemon appears to have the appellage with wrappings around it this matchings the wrappings around the arm of the human character shown in the Coco trailer last month. It's even wrapped around his arms with the same number of times. Now you can see the images here of this mysterious character that we know is going to be inside of the Coco movie. This was in the trailer. We have this boy Tarzan looking character with these wrappings around his arms. It says the Coco trailer showed the human character as a baby as well as celebrating time traveling shrine from the fourth movie it says could the new pokemon and human be related or even the same is the human paying homage to the pokemon with his outfit was he raised by the pokemon we will find out soon these are all great questions it says the mythical pokemon will be fully revealed again on february 27th on pokemon day now again this is a hundred percent the same thing that is this the the silhouette with the arm that's exactly the same thing this boy got on i'm gonna call him coco for now this is the same thing coco got on a hundred percent on his arm is he the pokemon i don't think so i don't think we can have humans transforming into pokemon i don't think that's gonna be a thing what i do think is this is gonna be like a tarzan story ripoff where basically the baby somehow gets taken by a pokemon or gets left in the woods somehow by un family events or whatever the case may be and this mythical pokemon basically 
basically picks up the baby and treats it as his own and it grows up and again you know is in the forest and meets ash and ash is probably confused by this boy and this boy is probably confused by ash they probably fight or whatever the case may be and that's basically plot story for the movie but however it is very interesting that they would have this going on and then also be like hey it's also coming to pokemon sword and shield which isn't new but it's pretty cool it's pretty cool that again that it it it's tying all in to pokemon sword and shield hopefully this does get tied in like movie wise into the dlc i wouldn't think so i would hope maybe we have like the location of like this forest in the dlc that'd be pretty cool like a you know a way to link it all back together but again that's just me theorizing and you know coming up with shit and my hopes and dreams let me know what you think about this silhouette in the comment section below as you guys know this is a conversation I want to talk to you guys. I answer all comments. So again, let's have that conversation in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on everything that we went over in today's video. And if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day talking about Pokemon or just basically talking about any other game that I want on this channel. If you want to be down for the ride, again, hit that subscribe button. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop one of these videos. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video into recommended so other people can check out the video peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next news update video thank you thank you thank you for making it to the end of this video if you're not a subscriber and you made it this far hit that subscribe button you know you want to join the family ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time i drop one of my videos as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family if you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as twitter instagram or tiktok or whatever i'm daddy gamer fred on all of those again daddy gamer fred you'll be able Able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my Twitter also on all of my videos I do answer all comments so again if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything just hit me up in the comment section below I take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and I love it and again let's have that conversation down there here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest I am a variety channel I do tons of stuff tons of Pokemon but tons of other stuff as well so dive into these videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.